you got something in that box right there for Big Stinky. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Hope you guys are all doing absolutely fantastic. I told you guys a few videos back that I had a little surprise for you for Big Stinky. It wasn't your typical you know, exhaust tip. It wasn't your typical, you know, normal exhaust pipe. So I figured I would show you guys today. This is why there wasn't a video yesterday. It's kind of been one of those things to where now, like, when it comes to my content, I'm not like stressing it, you know, and that's a good thing to try to learn when you get into this type of thing. Because for the first year, I was like, every day, I was like, oh, I gotta come up with a content. I gotta come up with, video. and I would just make random videos of pretty much anything. And sometimes it was really good stuff and other times it was kind of just like filler content but I'm getting to a point where I don't want to do as much of that I want to make sure that if I'm doing a video I'm doing it when I feel like I just want to do it it's a video that I'm excited about and it's something that I'm excited to share with you guys so it's not just going to be any random just randomness you know that I just happen to try to film just to fill in with something each day so so we got something for you guys today I think a lot of you guys might know what it is that came over from Team LMP my other channel I kind of gave it away over there it is a miter cut smokestack for my exhaust tip on Big Stinky. Holy crow, guys, this thing is huge. The only thing I'm kind of bummed about is that it came, like if you look at the top, I don't know if you guys can tell, but if you look closely, maybe you guys can't in the lighting, but you can see like this little tiny, tiny dents. And then if you look at the side right there, there's a dent. So it's not like major. Um, so I'm not really worried about it, but man, like I said, UPS and those guys and FedEx, they slam these blocks around. Like, look at the damage on the side of the box and stuff. Um, that probably explains the dent right there. Um, just crazy, you know what I mean? I mean, they don't know what's in the box, but you should treat every box as if it's glass, in my opinion. But, you know, whatever. I don't work in shipping stuff, so I don't know what all they have to do and what all the processes. But, um, anyways, we're going to get to installing this on the Big Stinky. That will explain to you guys why I just for fun I always set this on the back of the bed of the dually uh, just to see what it would look like and it was it's pretty crazy my brother's like oh my gosh dude you need to do that for the dually but I I don't know if I really want to put a hole in the bed of that thing um, not to mention it already sounds awesome the way, to, the way that it is but this is why I didn't attach this portion of the hanger and this portion of pipe to the exhaust pipe that was there on Big Stinky the reason for that is um, I wanted to be able to position this wherever I needed to pivot around so I got the angle right with an exhaust tip that length. And before anybody freaks out like, oh, nobody ever does an exhaust tip like that size, um, that length, you're right, there's not a lot of them out there. They are, they are done, people do them regularly, uh, but it's not as near as common as just your standard eight inch exhaust tip, which we have on all of our trucks. So I just figured this would just be a little bit something different. And it's, it's a real bummer. And this is something that um, I was thinking about making a video on this topic alone, but since I just did one recently, I'm not going to um, for this channel. But I got off the phone with my tire company because you guys know I only got one tire in. And I called them up. I said, hey, where are my other tires? You know what I mean? Like I ordered four tires. I got one. They said, well, we shipped one. We drop shipped one from a different company because we only had three in inventory. Don't ask me why they had an odd number in inventory. They only had three in inventory. And so I was like, okay, you know, so yours are on the way too, though, right? They're like, oh, you know, I'm checking on it right now. They haven't even shipped yet. They're still in the warehouse waiting to be shipped. I'm like, please get a move on it. You know what I mean? Like, I've been waiting seven weeks now for my tires. Couldn't get the ones that I really wanted because they still had them on the website for purchase, even though they were out of stock. Reordered with this set, and the guy told me they will be here. You guys can go back and watch the video. I said, so they will be here in a week. Not they might ship in a week. They will be here in a week. He's like, they will be there in a week. Two weeks go by and I only get one tire. And then I get on the phone today and I hear that it might not be a week. It might be a week until they even ship the next ones, which means it'll be at least two weeks before I even think about seeing the other three. So, mm, yeah, just not fun. So let's let's not think about the bad vibes anymore. Let's get, in, get into the video itself. So what I'm going to actually do is pull Big Sinky out until right about the concrete pad right there where the lighting's a little bit better. It's a nice cool evening, 70 degrees, which is perfect right now. It's beautiful outside. Um, so I'm going to pull the truck up and forward and then we can get to grinding some things down. So what I'm going to do for this, I'm actually going to take the grinder and cut this off and then I'm going to take the grinder and grind that down flat. Uh, so I know exactly where I can cut my exhaust pipe. I'm thinking I'm going to have to cut it about right here. As far back because that's as far back as I can go to where I can still slide that exhaust tip on um, well smokestack 
on at least that far so I can get a good um, a good connection on the end there. We're going to get the truck pulled forward and get on with this project. Let's do a little before rev. Maybe get on camera me kind of lining everything up, clamping stuff down, welding stuff up, and I'll get back to you guys when we have a finished product. Guys, look at that. It's done. I tried to keep it up as close as I could to the bumper, but it actually looks good. Because like I said, the whole purpose of this is so you can't see where the four inch pipe starts back up under the truck. So it just looks like a huge exhaust pipe coming up. But it didn't turn out too bad. Try to keep it up snug. It's about an inch and a half away from the fender down there where I'm um, close as I could get it. Let me try to show you how I connected this all. Do forgive me, I'm not a welder, but I welded the exhaust tip on all the way around. You can see my welds there. Sorry, it's hard to, hard to see. Okay, yeah, well I welded it around to hold the fastener on there. Um, made a hanger where I had to weld it on right there. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, the focusing isn't going to work and I welded that on the front and the back side. And I also welded the hanger on up there. And then I, over there, let me kind of zoom the camera and see if you guys can see that. You can see that weld, I ran a bead all the way around that, um, that half and along the bottom of that exhaust pipe right there, just to keep from, keep that from freely spinning. So. That's how it's welded on to hold it where it's at. Now, I don't know if it's gonna sound awesome, if it's gonna sound stupid or what, but just looking from behind, man, it looks, it just looks crazy. You also have to envision this thing's gonna be sitting on 20 by 12s and tires like this. But let's get this truck started up. I'm not sure if this video is gonna end up being too long, but we're going to definitely get the start up on here real quick. Let you guys see how it, see what it sounds like. This is the next day I just went out because I just saw in my video while I was editing it that when I started up the truck, the exhaust tip kind of like dropped down another half inch to an inch. And I'm trying to see if there's visibly any spots where maybe a weld came undone because it wasn't done right or, you know, something to where, you know, the pipe could have rotated. And looking here, obviously nothing's come undone. Um, right there, still solid as can be. Same as up there. Now that's not like perfect, but it's solid. So, you know, for example, it's not going anywhere. Um, so, and then down here, Wells look fine too. Nothing looks like it shifted at all, so I mean, I don't know. I don't know why it dropped down, but maybe it was just settling all the weight. Like the vibration of cranking it over just kind of made it settle down to where it's gonna sit permanently, but yeah, kind of weird. Just thought I'd let you guys know that on video so you can see kind of nothing really broke or fell apart. That sounds freaking crazy. Oh my goodness. That sounds awesome. And I'll give you a couple reps. I'll be honest. 
this guys that is the craziest sounding truck we have now oh my goodness that sounds insane no justice on the camera i'm sure but that sounds crazy Guys, this truck could be yours. If you're shopping and new, I just want to let you guys know that we are doing a giveaway with these two trucks. This one here and that one, we're going to do a giveaway where every $20 you spend on my merchandise store, starting June 1st, we'll get you entered for to win either of these trucks. It'll be basically one winner and they get to pick one or the other, whichever one they want. One's the five-speed manual, and this one, of course, is the automatic single rear wheel axle. And also, guys, those of you who are continuous subscribers and supporters, just remember, this thing is gonna have 20 by 12 wheels on it with 33 by 1250 tires. And with those wheels and tires, this exhaust thing is gonna look a little bit more fitting. I know right now it might look a little bit goofy, but you know, the tires just haven't come in yet, so I don't know what to do about it. Well, everybody, that is gonna put a wrap up on the video today. Hopefully we can get a little bit better video outside of the exhaust note, maybe tomorrow or the day after, because it's getting dark and there's really not great camera light, and I don't have a camera hit on hand right now to get some shots of me rolling on the road. Um, but definitely, definitely awesome. So. Great, great exhaust tip. Um, I will try to leave a link in the description below for one of those if you guys want. It's not really an exhaust tip, it's a smokestack. It's supposed to go in the bed of your truck, but you know, I've seen a couple trucks that had them out the tailpipe like that, and I didn't want to put a hole in this bed, so that's the route that I went, and uh, I think it sounds, it sounds crazy. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go check out our sponsors, DAP and Pusher. The links are always in the description for modification lists and also the brands and companies that we use and we support because they support us. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the exhaust tip in the comments below. Definitely leave a fat thumbs up if you guys are looking forward to more videos in the giveaway of this truck or the dually. Thank you guys so much. Subscribe, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.